is DTM Delta Tango mic. And uh, we're gonna have a first look at Adobe Fresco. And when I say first, let me double check that we have sound. And when I say first, I mean like the first day. Today's the first day we actually get to check it out and try it free to the public. So let me see if we have uh, sound here because I'm using the microphone from one of the iPhones. So uh, that's not ideal. And uh, in my haste to set all this up, I forgot to plug in a microphone. But that's okay, because I can hear myself. I know you can hear me. And let's go ahead and get started. So number one, I am Delta Tango Mike. I run a couple of channels on YouTube. And on Facebook, you get to see everything that I post, including um, digital art, which I, I go through some of the apps that are available on iPad and Surface. And I also show off some demos and tutorials on using Adobe Illustrator. I am a 2D illustrator. I work with uh, digital media all the time. That is my primary business is to provide illustrations and artwork for companies and businesses who need branding and uh, illustrations. Big ups to Bree Price. Thank you. I'm, I'm glad you can hear me. That, uh, that's a confirmation that you all can hear me right now. Uh, and it's not just my machine. So uh, that's part of my business, that's part of my process, is to make sure that I have the right tools for the job. Now, all tools are not gonna be appreciated by everyone. Uh, everybody, uh, some people have preferences, they like what they like, they like um, Mac over PC, they like uh, iPad over Surface, they like some apps over others. There's a big backlash over what Adobe has done, is created the subscription service, the created cloud, and, uh, and charge people per month. There's you're gonna like some things, you're not gonna like some others, and this is just my process is just to show you what's out there and what you can try out so that once you get a feel for it, you can figure out for yourself whether or not you're going to use it. So, today I want to go over Adobe Fresco. Adobe Fresco is an iOS app right now, it just came out on the App Store today. It's been uh, in pre release for a while now. We've been drawing with it, we've been creating um, test artwork. And, uh, and testing the capabilities of the app and see where it breaks. And then we report those things to Adobe. We have uh, some inside communication track where whatever experiences that we have, good or bad, we relay them to Adobe. They then adjust what it needs to be adjusted. And so the iOS, the iPad app version of Adobe Fresco has been in production for a while. There have been some great developers working on it. Never met any of them. Just met the team leads who talked to us. And they've been very nice in uh, making sure that we have the support we need to continue to use the app to give them feedback so that they can make the app better. So finally, the app for the iOS launched today. So if you go, this is my iPad right now. You can see my iPad. So if you go to the App Store, you'll be able to look for it. Let's see, let's see how many updates I got. And uh, no, no updates. Good. So you go to Adobe Fresco. There it is. Adobe Fresco, draw and paint. Boom. Click on it and download it. It's free. I um, I've already left a review, but it hasn't come up yet. In any case, I am an Adobe. I'm a, I am a beta tester for Fresco and pre-release. Is it's called pre-release. And, uh, and so the Adobe Fresco is right here. Adobe Photoshop is right there. And it right now it's being called Rocket. And those are, so Photoshop is not out on the iPad yet. So we can't show it off. We can show off the work that we finish on it, but we can't show off some of the, what the app looks like because there's a lot of changes happening all the time. But when it comes to Adobe Fresco, now everybody has access to it. So there it is, it's downloading. Let me move it over this way because all my Adobe stuff has a place. And it's, and it's really, I have a, app, uh, um, a drawer for a lot of drawing apps. I have Procreate, Vectornator, Medibank Paint, Sketchbook, Paintstorm, Comic Draw, Graphic, Easy Poser, Sketchbook. What do I have too? I think this is Sketchbook Mobile on, up here on the right. And then animation. So I, so I'm not a, a one-trick pony. I don't just try out one app and say this is the app I'm gonna be with. I'm not what you call a fanboy. Uh, I am. Uh, I am open to all tools that come my way, and I will try them all. And right now we're talking about the iPad Pro because. So when it comes time to talk about the Surface, 
I have a ton of apps that I draw with. Sketchable is one of my favorite. I use it all the time whenever I'm on the surface, but I am open to anything that comes my way because as I'm a professional illustrator, I, um, I want to do the experimental creative stuff that I just have a chance to sit down and try something and I just want to doodle. But the, ma the majority of my clients need a digital file that they can use for their business, for their branding, for their marketing, etc. And that's when I need to know what tools are out there to help me do the job. And uh, so, so I have all these different ones on my iPad just so that I can play with them. I have some I've paid for, some are free. I'll experiment. And the ones that I like, I'll keep. And then the ones that I that like, man, it's, it's okay. It does something, but I I'm, I'm really don't see myself using it. Then I just take it out. Uh, but, I, but I do keep my eyes open whenever someone talks about a particular app that I have not heard about. So here we go. Let's go on to my iPad now. And while I'm doing that, let me check sound. Just so that I can yep, it's working. So there it is, Adobe Fresco. It just showed up. It's right here. So once you download it, open it. Beautiful green. Adobe Fresco. I do have an Adobe ID account. In this guy and, and as soon as I click on it, it signs me right on in. It knows who I am. There's my name, DTM. It's right here on the top. And uh, it says get get a free get a feel for Adobe Fresco. I can take an interactive tour. I guess let's try it out. Take slower. Boom, boom, boom. There it is. Uh, where Fresco is different, you can ask questions. There's a little um, question mark on the top so that you can browse tutorials, see your shortcuts, view gestures, take a tour, which is what we're doing now. So. Um, you do next there we go we got our brush tool so there's three different types of tools on the left top left hand side the first one is for pixel brushes and that means like your basic uh digital brushes for inking lettering uh, ba uh, comic drawing pencils and uh, so on then we have the light brushes which include watercolor there's four different watercolor brushes and seven oil paint brushes that's awesome that they're called live brushes because that means that they react as you're drawing on them and they react as a, 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 a traditional media would. A lot of these brushes have been created and developed by Kyle T. Webster, an awesome developer who's been creating, an, an artist, designer, who's been creating a lot of digital brushes for a long time. So then you got the my favorite ones, which are the vector brushes. And so we have the basic round, the taper, and flats, and so on. These two are the ones that I use the most. That's it. I don't need anything else. And for me, I am a vector. I, I, for me, I prefer vector illustration because when I'm working with clients, then I can export my artwork, give it to them in a, a vector file format that they can then use that illustration and scale it up to whatever size they want and, uh, and use it for whatever purpose, whether it's a banner, a uh, billboard, a uh, building, a, 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 um, a graphic the size of the building, the artwork will, will come out crispy and clear for them to use in everything uh, that they need it for. So it's very important to have vector brushes. And so there used to be an app called, um, there's two different apps. We'll come back to this in a second. So uh, here is uh, the two apps that I use all the time. This is one. This one is called, let me get it out, come on, Adobe Draw, Adobe Sketch. That's Adobe Sketch, and this is Adobe Draw. And so these two apps are the ones where everything that is in Adobe Fresco came from. So Adobe Draw is the one where you create vector illustrations. Adobe Sketch is where you create traditional illustrations. And now Adobe Fresco has them both. So that's really cool. All right, so now let's take a look at next. So there, there we go, pixel brushes, blah, blah, blah. There it is, telling us about what pixel brushes do and how they work. And as you can see, the background is uh, checkered because um, it, it is uh, pixel based. Then, and so there we go. Now you can import your brushes here. And this is from anything that you have already um, downloaded from the Creative Cloud. And if you have a Creative Cloud account, you have access to thousands and thousands of brushes. So all you gotta do is click on the more brushes uh, it'll open a browser, get to the Creative Cloud, and you can download them any all the brushes into your computer. There's other ways to get the brushes, uh, and once you already have those brushes downloaded to your computer, you can get them uh, um, from whatever app you're in, and you can get them from the Creative your Creative Cloud account. So it's really easy and very convenient. So now you can download and add 
Uh, there it is. Oh, the, um, the live brushes. There is explaining to you what I just said. I should have kept on clicking and instead of explaining things. But there it is. Nice and crispy vector brushes. Brushes and their layer types. And uh, and so then you'll be able to see uh, what, what kind of um, layer this is. So these are all pixel layers right here on the right side. It shows you that what they are. Touch shortcut means that you can hold down that button for a second and, and use the same Apple Pencil and immediately that whatever brush you were on, it doesn't matter because that Apple Pencil will react as an eraser. So that's a cool little uh, add-on there that I did not expect. And then um, you can create selections. <laughs> and you cannot, uh, <laughs> and I think there's masking somewhere in here, but that's really cool. So now you can make a selection. And, and, uh, and transform them and do everything else that you want to them. Like creating a mask. There it is. It's starting to talk about masking. There you go. Look at that. That is awesome. I love it. I love it. All right. Cool, cool. And then you can save and share. And here, when you can share, this is where it really gets interesting because you want to publish and export. And then export as. And then you click on PDF. And when you export as a PDF, when especially when it comes to vector illustrations, then you take that PDF file, open in Adobe Illustrator, and you have live anchor points and paths that then you can keep on working with. This app is not meant to be the all, especially because we're talking about the Creative Cloud. The Creative Cloud, which is Adobe, has 20, 30 different apps. And someone who like me who's been working in adobe illustrator and photoshop for 20 years has a workflow already very dependent on to create my art and create the the the, the illustrations that i need for my clients so some of these extra apps that are coming out in these tools including adobe sketch and adobe draw are there to just facilitate some of that process that i've already created for myself and they add an element that allows me to be mobile. So drawing on the iPad is not necessarily um, Adobe's, drawing on the iPad with some of these apps that Creative Cloud has created is not Adobe's solution saying, hey, use this one app only, and from there on on, you don't need anything else. They're really more, they're, I, I feel like these apps are more set up for you to try out some things while you're on the go, while you're on mobile, while you're away from the office, especially with the different size of iPads, you're able to get really compact. And now Apple has the iPad mini that supports Apple Pencil. That's crazy. I'm waiting for the day when we can draw on the iPhone with the Apple Pencil. In any case, so, so you have a lot of different tools available to you to work at any situation that you want to and then get back to your computer and finish the job. A lot of the work that I do when it, for clients it has to be completed on the computer because we're exporting for a multitude of uses. If you're experimenting and you're doing creative stuff just for fun, that's great. You can do whatever you want. You can use a scrap of paper, line paper, whatever. But when you're talking about professional, professionally, um, I forgot the polished, professionally polished finished work, then you're gonna need to use the, the highest levels of the tools possible to get there. You don't have to like a Ferrari, okay? You can drive the car you drive now. But if you wanna be a professional race car driver, you're gonna need a high-end super-duper car, even if it is a Chevy, a, um, a Ford, or any other type of brand of car, you're gonna need one with a lot of horsepower. But if you need to go to the store and buy some groceries, you can take a skateboard. And that's how these apps are. That's how I view professional tools when it comes to finishing professional artwork that's ready for a client. And check your pipeline because maybe there are tools that you can use that are not Adobe to work in your pipeline for animation, for illustration, for uh, comic books, for whatever purpose is out there, as long as you can able to have the artwork that's required. All right, so let's go ahead and go here. So there. So look, I can actually export that. Let's see if it works. Export. Um, I want to export to my Dropbox. Exporting document. Boom, boom, boom. It opens up my Dropbox. Of course, I hadn't opened my Dropbox in a minute. There it is. So it did not. All right, there we go, there we go. Export again. Dropbox. 
and it should, it should ask me where to save it to. So I choose a folder. I had to do it twice because I had not opened my Dropbox in a long, long time. So I'm just going to sh share it into the regular Dropbox folder and then hit save. And there it is. It's gone. And there it is. It's updating. You see it right here on the, on the top left. It says Adobe Hour 1 and it says PDF. Boom. There it goes. That's it. So now I can get back to Adobe Fresco, hit done, and I'm back at the app and I can say done. So that's a quick tour. That shows us where everything is and what it's for. And now I'm going to show you how I draw and uh, my process when creating some of this artwork that exported as a vector file. So here we go. So let's go and let me show you the side. There it is. Boom, boom, boom. As you can see, I have a... Uh, Cinemaker, I'm streaming to the Facebook on with Cinemaker, and this is also going to go out to YouTube uh, once I'm done with uh, Facebook. So here we go. Let's go home. Bam. So there's nothing here. Uh, there is a gallery that you can see other artists work. And if you say view all projects, if you click on that, you can scroll down and it's been a minute. But you can keep scrolling down and see all the artwork that other artists have done with Adobe Fresco. And if you get down far enough it's been a minute so that's why it takes a while to get there a lot of us artists have been working in adobe fresco for a while and there is my work right there project gemini sketches by dtm and adobe fresco started off as called project gemini and i was in L la last year at the end of last year it was a year ago at the adobe max it was uh october of last year and uh, Adobe announced uh, uh, Project Gemini. And man, as soon as I saw it, I knew I had to have it. And, uh, and so when uh, Gemini became available as a beta release, and some of us artists are part of the um, pre-release uh, testers for Adobe stuff, that's when I, uh, that's when, uh, so when I got, and that's when I was able to get to it, and that's when I started playing around. Sorry, I had to have some coffee here. So, uh, first drawings first. What am I going to draw first? Whenever I guess I get a new tool, I draw myself. Why not? So, there I am. Uh, two different uh, brushes. One is the pencil brush. That is the first things that I, that I test whenever I try out some new software for drawing. I want to see what the pencil strokes look like, what the shapes look like, how does it respond to pressure, and what am I able to do with it? And as you can see, I did a little bit of erasing right there. So that was um, the pencil brush and then the vector brush. And just as I expected, once I tried that tapered brush, then I, I realized that it works just like it does with Adobe Draw, which is perfect for me because I'm very interested in seeing that app develop further. So I did some quick testing here. I started with a um, pencil sketch that's me of course in a different lifetime i went back uh so what i did is uh as a backwards this is a sketch and then that was the nicer sketch a more detailed sketch and then i took that it did a different sketch i didn't like the pose and i didn't like this art style either but then i went ahead oh the art bo the body style but then i went ahead and did it in vector so it's all vector work uh um Ink, no, this is uh, this is um, I may be wrong. This is pencil. This is actually pencil still, a different pencil. Then I colored it in, and now we're in vector. This is it looks like it could be vector. I think it's not. I may be off. So I did do some tries, and now no, this is not vector at all. This is also another pencil sketch, and I started doing my little cross hatching. I started with a quick uh, sketch. I went in and started adding some shading. I didn't want to do any hard shading, so I did the cross hatching and uh, starting adding, adding in some details. And then from there, I uh, that was it. Oh, then I did another sketch, and I never finished this one, and that was it. That's the end. So there it is. That was my beginning of Project Gemini, which is now Adobe Fresco. So let's go ahead and try out some stuff. I'm gonna get. Uh, I'm gonna show you hands on what I do when it comes to Adobe Fresco and digital drawing in general. Because my process is the same no matter what I'm working with, um, as long as it has the tools that I need. So here we go. I've been drawing on lots of different drawings. 
I've been creating lots of different drawings when it comes to Adobe Fresco, as you can see. Here they are. It has access to my cloud documents. Up here in the top, it says cloud documents, and all of these documents are already in my created cloud that I can just grab. This is one of uh, um, Kyle T. Webster's uh, Skateboard Girl. It's not mine. Here's one of the original uh, Project Gemini drawings that I did. And as you can see, I like drawing myself a lot. And then I did some of my Azteca Moderno illustrations here. So what I like to do is try out uh, it, the, the art. The, I like to try out the app, but also create artwork that, that I'm going to use for later. It's one of my keys when I was learning Photoshop and Illustrator 20 years ago is that I would go through the tutorials, but I'm not just going to use whatever files they give me to, to understand the tutorial and, and go through the steps. I'm going to use some files that are of my artwork so that at the end of the tutorial, I have something that's finished that's mine that I can use for later. And so that's how I do when I draw here. So without further ado, let's go ahead and grab something from Dropbox. Oh, there it is, the Adobe uh, piece. And let's see if I can grab some artwork. Where are you? It's updating, it's updating concept art sheet. Is that? That's that. Oh, here it is. So this is what I want. I want this. There we go. I was drawing myself on Sketchable yesterday. I was at the Microsoft store. And this is a shot of what Sketchable looks like. It is. Uh, it, ha it supports layers. They're right here on the right-hand side. And then uh, in, in creating those layers, I drew myself. So it's all, the Sketchable is amazing and it's for the surface. So now I go back to Adobe Fresco, Home, I want a comic book size. So let me see. This is it. So I have to make my own sizes here, which is cool, cool, cool. What are the settings tell me here? Quick export. I want PDF. Oh, I can do P Photoshop or PDF. I'm going to do mostly PDF. Uh, no way. Restore. And press sensitivity. Touch. Draw with a brush. Erase with a brush. Soft touches. Uh, don't want soft touches. Eh. Um, uh, and that's that. I'm just checking a couple of things. So let's go ahead with comic book page. I'm sure that I can try out any other sizes if I want to. I don't want to right now. So I can add layers right here. I'm on the right hand side over here right now. This is the, where we add layers. And just as I started to use the, the pen right now, it grabbed the basic pencil um, brush just be, without, because I did not take the time to select anything. So it, I, I, it right away starts with, with the basics. So what I want to do is create a new layer and let, oh, and bring in a picture. So that's over here on the left. When you want to create a new layer with, from a picture, you go all the way over here. Click on that little picture and you can either use your camera, go through your camera roll, go through your files and system in your iPad or check out your created cloud. Huh? Interesting. I don't, I'm not going to go through my creative cloud because I know where my picture is. It's in the camera roll. So I allow, I hit camera roll. Boom. There it goes. Bringing in the image. Hit done. Let's see what happens. There it is. Uh, if I want to transform it and change it, there's a tool, another tool here on the, on the left hand side. That one. That's the transform tool. So I can select. No, not th that's the wrong one. There we go. Select and then scale and be done. Let's see if I can do close lasso, erase. Uh -uh. Cancel. How do I erase? This is what I want to do. Dun, 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 marching ants only. Oh, yes, I, I did not. It, it did not. There we go. It doesn't do that. Hold on. Um, I see. Okay, let me try something else. I'm going to make a selection. Hit the mask. Convert. Edit mask. Okay. Reveal. Dun, dun, dun. And... Okay, that's revealed. And now, how do I get back? Let's see, hide or reveal. Uh 
huh let's see lay your mask on link there it is boom boom huh that's what the mask off and that's what they on. <laughs> go back all right so let's move this down can i move it down please oh let's add another layer there you go boom let me grab these get rid of them i could actually hit delete there it is oops not duplicate delete delete done now i go to that layer here it is and actually don't even need to do that either oh i see there's something underneath there mm -hmm. delete the mask i don't need it and actually what happened i was trying to get rid of the stuff that's on the side and i did not need to do that so i got to learn how to do the masking a little bit better in any case let's go ahead and draw and show you some of my process here turn that down to the opacity of that layer grab the other layer go look for my vector tools and get started so now here we go i like the basic round if i'm going to use the basic round tool i can change the color I can change the size up and down. I can change the smoothing or I can change the pressure dynamics and velocity and so on right here, which is really cool. The roundness and taper and so on. So right now, let's see, this is the round one. So it can taper and let's try it out. Look at that. So I, because of the pressure, I can go light or I can go hard. And it gives me the, um, gives me that thick and thin line. And once you have already drawn something, if you want to get rid of it and go back, you do two finger tap, two finger tap, two finger tap, and then two finger tap and it's gone. Boom, just like that. This is cool. I'm going to concern myself with the vector only because that is what I do. And let's see, so I have the basic round. Here's the basic taper, and it works similar. The deal, the deal with the taper is that you can go fast, slow, and it's gonna have that the, the tapering on both edges, in the front and the back. And so when I use that brush, I draw very lightly, and that was too hard right there. There we go. Let's do it again. Boom. Nice. <laughs> there we go. It's kind of like inking, but it's vector. And I can have these cool effects. There we go. I don't like that part. Didn't like that either. Try it again. Come on. I do like digital drawing when it comes to vector or even pixel because it allows me to undo. But when I'm using my markers, oh man, that's it. It's there. There we go there we go boom now let's go ahead and get this that eyeball there we go and i see that little dot right there that's okay bam mm-hmm love it there it is it's coming along i love it side of the head mm. bam mm -hmm. let's go here we go mm-hmm look at that and there comes the beard 
I didn't mean to move that thing. There it goes. Boom. There comes the beard. And so eventually you start turning off that other layer just so you can see. Yeah. Yeah. I like it. So let's go ahead and try canvas size too large to support these brushes. Reduce the canvas to a maximum of 4,000 pixels to use the live brushes. Oh man. I don't want to do that. I'm not into live brushes, but I'm going to have to try a different canvas if I want to test that out right now. And uh, so I'm going to adjust my title of my video and uh so it can say that i'm testing out the vectors i only care about the vectors That's the only thing that exists in this world that matters is vectors oh look at that and you know what i want to fix that beard get the eraser or you know let's do it the way uh okay okay wrong button Let's hold down that button, and now I can use my pencil as an eraser. Look at that. Oh, oh, oh. And the eraser had the same um, uh, uh, drawing style as this vector that it was tapered. You can tell because uh, the, the way I was using the eraser, you can't see it. But when you start to erase, let me show you. Hold that down, and then look at that. Ah! <laughs> oh snap i just know what i know what i'm gonna do with that <gasps> okay here we go bam look at that okay got it get the paint bucket fill it got it now i go back to my um, um vector but i'm gonna hold this button down and then go like this look at that dtm so i did my signature Yes, let's do it again because that kind of is off a little bit. Wow, that's cool. So now I can have my signature like that uh, in that kind of brush style that I'm already using for vector. So here we go. Look at that. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, if you guys have some questions, let me know. I am uh, on Facebook right now. I mean, I'm gonna throw this um, video in my YouTube channel, Vector Maestros. There we go. I like that, the two finger pan and zoom. That's all it takes, just two fingers. You go in and out, and one, no, nope, one finger doesn't work because it starts to draw. So it's two finger panning two finger pinch and zoom that's good i like it so now there we go get the ear i got the ear in there that's good taking out that line okay so go ahead like this that's too rough all right mm. mm -hmm. let's go like this all right that's good Let's go ahead and get the head. Head a little too big, too tall. I don't think my head is that tall. So let's just bring it down some. Yeah, yeah. That, I know the shape of my head. There it is. Oh, yeah. Now, what happens once it's all done and, you, and you're and you like me and you want to show it off, right? You're like, yeah, yeah, this drawing is cool. I need to show the world how cool I am in, uh, when I, in, in uh, how cool I am with these uh, digital skills and people should see a video of it. Well, number one, you can use a Cinemaker like I am and record your screen. Pfft, fancy. But let's say... You uh, have your iPad and uh, and you want to show off what you did. Okay, cool, cool, cool. See, look, that's a picture in itself right there. Oh, I need some. I don't need no eyeballs. Let's turn that off. There it is. Gia, do a screenshot of it real quick. Let's see if I. There it is. Yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. So now we go up to the arrow. Quick export or publish an export. 
quick export export as behance project or time lax export boom there it is hit play there it is there it goes and it's showing you all my strokes immediately as they happen in the order in which they happen hit the export button save the video you can probably export to other things too i don't care done and get back and keep on working and there it is that is adobe fresco this is just the tip of the iceberg it is the first day that it's available on the app store go to the app store right now just uh, if you're on an ipad and it, it doesn't matter which version of the ipad you have i have an ipad air i have an ipad mini i can draw with those also you do not need to have the latest version of the ipad pro which i don't have either i have my ipads are a couple years old but they work fine the older iPads, they work just as fine. They're, um, the touch is a little bit not as great as it is on the iPad Pro because the iPad Pro was designed to draw on, whereas the other iPads that are older, they were just, uh, what do you call those, consumer media, cons to consume media. There were devices to consume media with. So the, the way that the app is gonna react is a little bit different. You're gonna have to work your way around some of the touch things. But it's still going to be something that you can use and draw with and then export out to as a PDF to your Dropbox. I suggest you have a Dropbox or something like that. And then, then open Illustrator and finish off that artwork in a high resolution vector file that can be used for everything and anything. Okay, that's all I have for you right now. Please check out Vector Maestro. So I'm going to add all those links into the description of the video. So just click on the links. Subscribe on YouTube. Let me know what I'm doing. Get me some feedback. Let me know uh, what you think, what you like to see. And I will gladly jump online and throw down on a live stream and show you how I use some of these digital tools to draw and create for myself as a creative just to explore and have fun, but also to create work that I get paid for. All right. Talk to y'all later. DTM. Going to keep on talking. Going to keep on working. And uh, thank you, sir, Bree Price. Oh, no, I'm sorry. Hold on. I keep saying, sir, I forget who is who sometimes. That's not a sir. Um, I appreciate you, Bree. Thank you for being here. I got to get better with that. Uh, assuming people's gender all right so i got the face now i'm gonna add another layer because i don't want to miss that layer that i already have right now and uh, uh, i want to draw a pencil bam there we go you want sharp clean vector uh line work use adobe illustrator and master the pen tool i have a channel for that vector maestros but if you want to have that um, organic look to your drawings, then you need a nap like this so you can draw. And it has that awesome strokes and wiggles and bends. There you go. Bam. Mm-hmm. There goes the pencil. That side is all busted. Let's fix it. Let's go like this. Let's go like that. Oh yeah, here we go. Oh, uh, paint bucket, paint bucket. Oh yeah, I like it. <laughs> nice. And now that I have one, and let me drop it down because it's too high. Even though it's in the chest, the beard takes up a lot of space. So let me duplicate, bam. Let me transform, bam. Uh, let's adjust it, like, that's 13 degrees, done. Let's do this one too. 13 degrees, done, so they're both the same. I can grab this one, drop it on top of that one. <laughs> uh, let's do that, hit the transform and bring it down. Boom. And you know what I would do when I'm an illustrator? I will do all those lines. I get, you know, yeah, yeah. yeah well, I guess I could do it here, but now nah, I could do super clean illustrator lines. And then another layer. And it saves automatically. I can just uh, go 
out home and uh, save. But let me go ahead and change the name. There we go. Caps DTM saves. Yes, done. There it is. It changed the name. Go back out. Saving document. Boom. There it is. And the recents. And when I open, when I open um, Adobe Fresco on the Surface, I'll be able to see that file and bring it in and keep working on it. <laughs> when you open uh, Adobe Draw, when you open Photoshop, when you open all these other one, other um, programs, you'll be able to see your Creative Cloud documents, and that one will be right there. How about that? Okay. So there. I'll keep on drawing, but you don't have to stick around because I'm gonna stop this pretty soon it's getting kind of long all right first look adobe fresco delta tango mic art life all day check out my channel on youtube vector maestros for more tutorials and demos plus check out art is king on youtube and i have a lot of um art business related meetups and videos for you to access and learn from if you have any questions please tag me please leave a comment and i will get back with you all right peace out All right, let's get back to it. Boom, there it is. Bow. Yes. Oh, my God. One of the things that I did a lot when I was, uh, oh, see, I used to, I started off with the, started drawing, and all of a sudden it gave me the pencil because I did not select a tool. And so it turned that layer into um, traditional brush, a pixel brush. Um, one of the things that I did as uh, when I was, um, testing the app is that uh i and there's a weird blue right there yeah that's it i was uh saving all the time not only that i was also um exporting all the time because the app was unstable but i never lost oh i, I, I never really lost any work that i needed to have um because i was very careful with it but it did there were some times where um the backup would would not would not work and so um but I didn't cry because I knew that um, I had backed up plenty of times. It can be hurt. Uh, it can hurt your heart when you don't pay attention, when you lose some work and you don't pay attention to how many times you saved or did you say this last thing, et cetera, et cetera. There you go. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. There it is. Uh-huh. Let's go like that. All right. One more finger. Let's throw a fingernail there. Uh-huh. I like that. Mm-hmm. There it is. Boom. Oh, man. That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. The good thing about... Uh, working on the iPad is that it will save the um, a frame lapse time lapse video so that you can um, then show off the video of what you did and this hand is super big so I need to fix that before I keep working there you go that's better um, um, you always want to show off a little bit you, you need to there you go all right. There we go. Yes. So I want those deep um, lines. I don't know. There we go. Do that. But now that is stable and is really, it's in, you know, it was stable enough that it's available to all but you should always so so it's not that it's you know available to all now you know i have to worry about saving but you should always back up export your files from your ipad from your computer because you never know what your computers could be going through at any given time Mm-hmm. 
Mm -hmm. <laughs> there we go. And now, so now I need a new layer. And as I'm doing things in layers is because I want to be able to um, make lines through some of these things like this. You see that? Let's do it again. And, uh, and if I need to erase through here, I don't have to bother uh, the line that I already made. Mm -hmm. There it is. Man, look at that. I love it. I love it. So where's my little circle? There's the circle. Now I go in and I start erasing. Like it. All right. Uh, oops. Erase that. Cool, cool, cool. I'm actually going to have to erase this line a little bit. There we go. And then go back in and take it out like that. Yeah. You know what? Yeah, let's go. Yeah, because the way the line came out right here through the fingers, it um, it's not a tangent, but... It does, I guess, I, I can't in, I remember the word, or maybe it is a tangent, but you don't want some lines being really close to others when, uh, and then it'll, um, you you won't, it's, it, it's not necessary, and you can adjust it, and it's going to mess with your eyes when you're trying to see something. There it is. Okay, I said I was leaving them out. Peace. DTM. Hey, thanks for watching. This is Delta Tango Mike. Find me on Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter under Delta Tango Mike. And please tag me in your work. I'd like to see what you're working on. Check out some more tutorials and demos at the YouTube channel Vector Maestros. And if you're interested in art business discussions and interviews with artists, check out the YouTube channel Art is King. Until next time, peace out.